In early 2020, the future seemed uncertain for Chinese electric vehicle EV manufacturer NIO. Facing challenges, a timely and substantial $1 billion injection from the local government became its saving grace, giving NIO a chance for a remarkable comeback. The pivotal moment came with the unveiling of the revamped ES8, marking the beginning of NIO's resurgence. Fast forward to today, and NIO's journey is nothing short of remarkable. The company has propelled itself forward, exemplified by the introduction of its latest cutting-edge electric vehicle, the ET7. This sleek electric sedan is set to make waves with its versatility, offering three distinct battery sizes. However, the showstopper is the larger battery variant, boasting an impressive 620-mile range on a single charge. With pretty decent performance figures and tech features, can the ET7 successfully take on the Tesla Model S? Let's dive into the details of the ET7 and explore whether it has what it takes to emerge victorious in the electric vehicle arena. And without further ado, let's get started. The exterior design of the NEO ET7 is a harmonious blend of sleek aesthetics and cutting-edge functionality. At the front, the super-slim LED headlights, adorned with integrated double-dash daytime running lights, contribute to a clean and muscular appearance. Unlike some electric vehicles where a grill-less face might seem out of place, the ET7 pulls it off seamlessly. The integration of the front lip with the bumper adds to the overall appeal, marking it as one of the standout designs in recent times. Moving to the side profile, the ET7 presents a streamlined look with frameless windows and flush sitting door handles that extend when approached. These design choices not only enhance the vehicle's visual appeal, but also play a role in optimizing performance and range. Impressively, the NEO ET7 boasts a remarkable 0.23 drag coefficient, outperforming the Tesla Model S with its 0.24 rating. While it falls slightly behind the Porsche Taycan and the Lucid Air, which sports coefficients of 0.22 and 0.21 respectively, the ET7's aerodynamic profile remains noteworthy. The rear of the ET7 is equally sophisticated, featuring a full-width LED crystal-like heartbeat taillight that illuminates in a sequential fashion. While the Sportback-esque vibes may not be universally favored, they don't detract from the ET7's overall elegance. If you have a keen eye, you'll notice subtle humps and bulges on the roof, strategically housing sensors for autonomous driving capabilities. With a wheelbase measuring 120.5 inches, the ET7 ensures a spacious cabin for front and rear passengers. In essence, the NEO ET7 stands as a smart vehicle, appealing to a wide audience without compromising on sophistication. Stepping into the NEO ET7's interior reveals a familiar yet elevated experience, setting it apart from its predecessors. While the setup may seem reminiscent of other NEO models and pictures, the actual feel is notably more refined and minimalistic. The overall quality takes a significant leap offering a distinct tactile experience that competes favorably with renowned German counterparts. Introducing a noteworthy innovation, the ET7 incorporates Rattan inserts, marking their debut in a production car. Beyond their environmentally friendly nature as renewable materials, these inserts contribute a charming textured feel to significant areas like the center console, dashboard dividing line, and electric window buttons. The attention to detail and unique materials exemplify NEO's dedication to providing a luxurious and distinctive interior ambiance. NEO claims to use up to 40 40% more leather than other brands, extending beyond visible seat parts to include inserts and the steering wheel. The inclusion of a microfiber headlining enhances the overall comfort, creating an inviting atmosphere within the vehicle. One noteworthy feature is the absence of a traditional glove box in the ET7. However, ample storage space is available under the floating center console, a characteristic shared with other NEO models. Another unique feature is the center console's cubbyhole, which is a secure compartment accessible through facial recognition or a code input. Unconventionally, it opens to either side rather than a rear hinge design. Inside, it houses two USB ports, including the sole Type-A port in the entire car and a 12-volt outlet 
ensuring connectivity and convenience for occupants. The Neo ET7's interior is not just about aesthetics, it's a carefully curated space that combines comfort, innovation, and practicality. Thanks to its expansive panoramic roof, the Neo ET7's interior is bathed in natural light, creating a spacious and airy ambiance. Despite a gracefully sloping roofline, headspace remains accommodating for all but the tallest passengers. Neo's strategic benchmarking against the long wheelbase 5 series becomes evident in the ET7's design, emphasizing spaciousness and comfort. In the rear, passengers are treated to an LCD panel mounted on the back of the center console, granting control over climate settings and seat functions. Convenient Type-C USB outlets are positioned underneath, with an additional outlet located in the compartment of the fold-down armrest. Ensuring a luxurious experience, the outer passengers in the rear enjoy heating, cooling, and massage functions akin to those in the front seats. While the ET7 skips the traditional glove box, it compensates with ample boot space, complemented by the convenience of electric opening and closing for the hatch. The absence of a central hump in the rear enhances the overall comfort, aligning with Neo's commitment to creating a spacious and technologically advanced interior environment in the ET7. In Sport Plus mode, the advertised acceleration time of 3.8 seconds is a notable feat, with Neo emphasizing that this estimation is based on the car being only half loaded. The company confidently suggests that the acceleration could be even quicker with just a driver on board. Engaging the stronger electric motor, 300 kilowatt, 500 newton meter at the rear, the ET7 exhibits a noticeable pitch when accelerating forcefully, providing an exhilarating experience. When it comes to the brakes, the ET7 demonstrates impressive stopping power, requiring 33.5 meters to come to a standstill from 100 kilometers an hour. This capability shines through in maneuvers like the elk test, where the car often halts before the zigzag is completed. Despite its sizable body, the ET7 surprises with its nimbleness during a slalom, and thanks to the air suspension, body roll is effectively mitigated. The ET7 offers a range of driving modes, each tailored to different preferences and scenarios. Apart from Sport Plus, drivers can choose from Sport, Comfort, and Eco settings. For those who seek a personalized touch, there's a custom option allowing fine-tuning of acceleration, regenerative braking, ride height, suspension stiffness, steering weight, and air conditioning. When it comes to performance and driving, the Neo ET7 not only meets expectations but also introduces some innovative features, offering a dynamic and customizable driving experience that sets it apart in the electric vehicle landscape. Switching to comfort mode, the acceleration eases to a more leisurely 7.9 seconds, ideally suited for everyday driving scenarios. However, outside of Sport Plus, the steering takes on a lighter feel. The range of the ET7 is influenced by several factors, including the driving mode. Notably, the 21-inch tires slightly reduce the maximum range of the 100 kWh battery pack version from 705 km to 615 km. NEO also offers a 75 kWh pack at launch, and there are plans for a 150 kWh semi-solid state battery later boasting a range exceeding 1,000 kilometers. It's worth mentioning that NEO adheres to the new China-only CLTC standard for range, which is even more generous than the NEDC standard. Pricing for the NEO ET7 starts at approximately $69,000 for the 70 kWh option, putting it in direct competition with the Tesla Model S for the same pool of buyers. In addition to the traditional pricing model, NEO introduces an innovative approach for the ET7, the Battery as a Service Boss Subscription Plan. Unlike conventional EV offerings where the battery is typically bundled with the car purchase, Boss allows you to customize your choice of battery pack based on your usage patterns and budget. With Boss, you can select a top tier trim with a smaller battery pack or opt for a lower trim with a larger one a choice not commonly available with other electric vehicles. This unique approach accommodates users who may only embark on one or two outstation trips yearly and don't require a larger battery for most of their driving. 
With Boss, you can subscribe to a larger battery pack for those occasional trips and stick with a smaller one for the rest of the year. It's a practical solution that aligns with varying driving needs throughout the year. Notably, the Boss subscription model isn't exclusive to the ET7. It extends across all NEO products. This forward-thinking approach by NEO introduces customization and adaptability to electric vehicle ownership, allowing users to tailor their experience based on their unique driving requirements and preferences. The NEO ET7 distinguishes itself as the premier electric vehicle in NEO's lineup, showcasing a futuristic autonomous design, remarkable range, and a competitive price point. Compared to other NEO models, the ET7 is a more accessible option for those seeking a forward-looking electric car. It seamlessly combines comfort, excitement, speed, and sustainability, offering a comprehensive package catering to diverse electric vehicle market preferences. That wraps up our exploration of the NEO ET7. What are your thoughts on this electric vehicle? Comment below, and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. That's all from this video. See you in the next one.